versus global warming. Oftentimes, the terms are used interchangeably. While they both arise from air pollution, they are, on, they are two completely different processes. This podcast is going to explain these differences. Stratospheric ozone is a layer of oxygen O3 molecules that block ultraviolet radiation from the sun from reaching the earth. One of the main contributors to ozone depletion are CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. CFCs are made up of chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. They're stable close to the Earth's surface, but in about 10 to 20 years' time, CFCs make their way into the stratosphere where they're not stable. In the stratosphere, we have oxygen ozone molecules, which are made up of three ozone atoms. When the CFCs come into the stratosphere, the chlorine in the CFCs bind with the oxygen, one of the oxygens in an ozone molecule. Oxygen, O2, is stable and doesn't put up much of a fight. So when chlorine takes when chlorine takes this oxygen, it depletes, and so we now have O2, and we have chlorine with oxygen, and we no longer have ozone. This is what we mean by ozone depletion. Ozone depletion leads to an area where the ozone layer is thinner which we refer to the ozone hole. So as we lose a hole in the ozone, so as we lose ozone molecules, the ozone layer, which is represented by the red, gets thinner and thinner. So when we have the UV rays that come from... There is less ozone to block them, so more UV rays enter into the sun. Then... The DNA of molecules on the earth gets broken. This is the problem. The extra UV radiation that reaches the earth's surface causes DNA mutations in organisms, which eventually can lead to death, cancers, and disruptions in food chains. There are many gases in the troposphere several of which are are placed in a special category called greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases trap heat near the Earth's surface. Without these gases, gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and, and carbon monoxide, the Earth would be too cold for life to exist as we know it. So in essence, greenhouse gases equal a good thing. We like greenhouse gases. We need greenhouse gases. The Industrial Revolution brought about lots of great things that helped us thrive here on Earth. Unfortunately, many of these things require burning fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases into the troposphere. So more greenhouse gases leads to more trapped heat. And more trapped heat equals a hotter Earth. So to sum it all up, more CFCs lead to more ultraviolet radiation, which lead to an increase in DNA problems. When we're talking about global warming, an increase in fossil fuel burning leads to an increase in greenhouse gases, which then leads to an increase in overall global temperatures. Thank you for listening.